Yo, what is up, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. Kicking ass, taking names, and up. Painting. We're back again with another vintage cube. Uh, this pack is fairly weak. Not no busted power stuff. I think the two best cards is Archon of Cruelty, which is one of the best cards to reanimate. Really, really good card to reanimate. Uh, hold on. Uh, um, and then Minsk and Boo. Which is what I'm probably going to take just because, you know, it's less committal. Archon of Cruelty, if this, if I was seeing this like fourth or fifth pick and I hit like Archon of Cruelty, Re Recurring Nightmare, you know, cool together and stuff. But I'm just going to take Minsk and Boo and be happy. Remand is fine. Fire Blast and Goblin Guide. I could, I mean, I can't see somebody doing this, but if somebody was like, I'm going to go in being mono red, you could take Goblin Guide and maybe Weirdle. Wield the Fire Blast, but I'm going to take Minsk and Boo. So, I mean, you know, seems pretty easy pick. One, two, three, four. Um, so what do we have here? We have Quest and Views, which is kind of similar to Minsk and Boo, but I think Demonic Tutor and Grief are enough better. The question is, which one do I prefer? Demonic Tutor is just sweet, just being able to do anything. Search for any card, like basically every single card in your deck, it's like eh, pay two extra mana and just cast it. Like, or you can set up just so well. Grief is also an awesome card and has some cool payoffs. Really good control. Um, I think I'm going to go with Demonic Tutor. I mean, I like the idea of just having a second copy of Minsk and Boo in my deck. Uh, Jun. Oh, that's cool. Is, oh, it's any card? Yeah, search your library for any card, put that's it in your deck. Yeah, it's a damn good card. Uh, I see, could see Questing Beast wheeling. Fallen Shinobi used to be like a windmill slam for me, but not so much anymore. But that pack was pretty good, though, for sure. Uh, here I'm going to take Wooded Foothills. Um, if we end up playing, you know, all of these three colors, I'm going to want a Wooded Foothills. Fetch lands are great. Maybe Titania wheels. Um... Maybe this guy will wheel, maybe Murderous Rider or Elder Gargaroth, I don't know. But I think, like, Mother of Rune is one of the best cards in this pack, but because I already have green, red, and a black card, I'm not about to take them off. Um, so here are some cool cards. Uh, I think uh, Rampart Excavator is great. Exploration is cool. These are both like land cards, land deck cards. Um, Jitte is great and can go in some cool decks, but I'm going to take Snuff Out. Snuff Out is just awesome. Um, yeah, I'm super happy with Snuff Out. Uh, uh, Snuff Out's the one that you can pay four life to pay the story turn, non black creature, pay four life to cast it for free. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a really good oh, card. We don't talk about that card. Yeah, we were talking about that card last night in our last draft about how good this card can be. Um, and I'm excited for it. Um, what do we have here? Uh, Blight Steel Colossus, the most just crazy card in this pack. Um, Opiomancer is a good card. Rival the Fittest is fine. I'm going to take Leopold. Um, if we end up playing a lot of colors, like, I just like Leovold a lot. It's a lot of decks that really rely on drawing a lot of cards. Obviously, I want my mana base to be much better if I'm going to play this. But I could, like, splash blue for this. I could splash red for Minsk and Boo. We can, we'll figure out something. Man, this is tough. We got a Sylvan Library, which is a great card draw. Inquisition, if this was Thoughtseize, I think I would take that above Sylvan, but I'm not. Uh, I also like Culligan's Command. And we have the try land, which is, I think, what I'm going to take. This pack's good. Maybe something will wheel for us out of this pack. Um, but That seems good. Yeah, uh, we already have a fetch land, so this already becomes a three-color land. Our perfect colors, you know. Um, I mean, we might get some blue, play some blue. I just like, I like, this pack's just good, you know. It has one, two, three, four cards I'd be really happy to take. Even Elvish Mystic is pretty good. Now, see, here's an interesting thing. I was just saying that I would want to take, like, if this was Thoughtseize, um, I would take it above all that stuff. But this is Duress, which is better than Inquisition, for sure. 
Um, but then there's another really good fetch lane. So this is tough. My mana base could be really good. I really having like having either Thought Seize to Rest or Inquisition in my deck. Uh, because just like having access to those things is really good. Just even just one. But it's, I'm just gonna take the catacombs, I think. Even Mag Magda is good in that pack. Okay, a taiga, our mana is starting to look really good. Uh Outland Liberator is fine, but let's just get really good mana, you know, work from there. Cosmo! Hey, buddy! Come on! Come on up here! Come on, Cosmo! Yeah! Well, Goblin Guide and Fire Blast Wheel, nobody's being... Oh, sorry, buddy. Whacked his head on the desk a little bit. Um... I think I'm gonna take the Sage you. It's just upgrading the forest into like reasonable removal in this format. Bean Artisan's good, this guy's fine, but I don't know. Um I'm not excited about Goblin Guide or any of that other stuff in that pack. Questing boost wheeled and so did uh Wall of Roots. Wall of Roots can get us playing our stuff a little bit earlier. Um but I think I'd rather just have creatures that could attack, and Questing Beast is awesome. Hey, buddy. I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you, too. Um. <laughs> Alright, well, this is interesting. Like, I was talking about all three of these cards possibly wheeling. Titania, we already have two fetch lands, which is pretty good with it. Maybe we could pick up some more stuff. Murder Strider is nice, can kill stuff. Uh, very versatile, but I'm, eh. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. It's just, I like the versatility. Uh, Mind Collapse steals five damage to a creature or planeswalker if you sacrifice a mountain. Uh, for four mana, it's also fine, but I think I'm gonna take Burst Lightning. This is fine. That's right. Some other stuff, man, none of that stuff I wanted to wield. That sucks. Hey, this guy's actually pretty good. Rampaging Raptor, it's kind of like a questing beast. Oh, all right. Well, channel is my favorite card, but I think we're not going to be play. Yep, passing channel again because I'm going to take Mox Pearl. Yeah, I keep passing my favorite card, but you know, it's funny because I'm every color but white, but I'm still going to take the Mox. I mean, it's just like, you know, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Um, what could wheel out of this test? The light, the diaphane, uh, warm coil engine, Just could be some stuff. Wheels out of that pack. Okay, burning cat, uh, burning cat comes, doesn't search up steam vents, but wooded foothills does. Um, there's also wasteland, but somebody else is clearly the land stack out there, so. And we're trying to play a lot of colors. I think I'm just going to take Reanimate. Maybe we end up with some discard outlets. or And it's just an overall very powerful card. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't even have to play Leopold, but I would really like to play a Reanimate. We don't really have a lot of early game interaction. And already Duress and Inquisition is gone. So if I... And Grief. So if... Like, I saw Thoughtseize, I would take it over, like, any non-crazy power stuff. Look at this dog, he's so cute. Well, Murderous Rider is a good card. Yeah, I like Murderous Rider. Um, what do we have here? Badlands helps our mana. We, we get searched by both of our fetch lands. Um, Ancient Tomb, which is awesome, but, like, it doesn't help cast anything until turn... You know, like Minsk and Boo, Questing Beast, and this. Can't play either of these early. Can't play Demonic Tutor on turn one. Doesn't help casting one drops. I just don't think it's that great. This land gets searched by both of our fetch lands and could make it so we could play Leobold. And then maybe like a rower or a blue card wheels. Like taking this makes it so much easier that like if we open Ancestor Recall or Time Walk or I don't know what other blue card I'd like to play, but you know. Taking this makes that just a lot more feasible. 
see who we got in our draft. Anybody cool? Smashy face. Spaceship driver. I don't know any of these people. Never played any of these people. Don't know them. Don't care about them. Aww. Ran six. Really good. Um, man, if I had taken Titania, I would be taking this guy to have the combo of just making a bunch of five threes. Um, Force of Vigor is really good. And this is weird because Force of Vigor will probably be more, you know, will be better most of the time. We don't have, all we have is a couple fetch lands and uh, one of these tri lands to cycle. We don't have strip mine. We pass wasteland and it's not coming back. Um, but this just destroys two artifacts. Or enchantments, really good. I don't know. Maybe I'd like to have some more early game. There's such a void here. I'm gonna take this. All right, here we got Vamp Tutor, which I think I'm gonna take. I also like Endurance, but I'm gonna take Vamp Tutor just to, you know, having Vamp Tutor and Demonic Tutor. This is just making it like we have multiple copies of every card in our deck, which could end up being really good. Um, this pack pretty weak, so I'm just to take Bayou to get better fixing. Uh, yeah, it's like free out of this pack. Nothing really exciting. Our fixing is so good, too. Basically, at this point, I don't even need to take other lands if I didn't want to. And it's like they're absolutely free. I don't see the need to take them. Um, Noble Hierarch is something to play early. Some early acceleration could play Leovold early. Uh, this is like a removal spell. We already have Murderous Rider, though, so I don't know. Uh, Rook is typically all right, but I think... It's going to take acceleration. Um, Goblin Ramble Master. I like this. It's a card that we can play early, and it's just like a win con on its own. Really nice card. Puts a lot of pressure. I would still, We still need more disruption, though. I really want to pick up... Like I know Thought Season is the only one left, but I really would like to pick it up if possible. Care of God. We have uh, two, three... Blue sources. Um, Fiery Covenant can destroy a bunch of creatures. Oh, oh man, that's tough. I think I'm just going to take Fiery Covenant. This is pay X life. You deal that much X, X damage to any creatures. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, six mana, and you can fight something when he enters the battlefield. Um, this guy can kill some stuff. Braid is. We don't have any artifact removal yet, do we? No, I think I'm going to take a Braid. I don't know. Seems good. Okay, we got Squee and Inferno Titan. Squee is like another Goblin Rabble Master. Um, it's like inevitability, and Inferno Titan is just more expensive. I'm just going to take the cheaper card. When in doubt, take the cheaper card. Uh, Omnath, I don't think we'll play it, but maybe we end up with like, right now we have two white sources, Endurance Hall. Just the Noble Heinrich and Mox Pro. Yep. But, you know. And I really wouldn't be excited to take Fetch Lands. This is fine. This is like... I don't know if that other guy was any good. It gets like power to or less. So it's sort of... Oh, here. Oh, you take this. the last drink. Oh, no. Yeah. That's why I want Elf last drink. But you get very much for the drink. Okay. This guy's good. I like that guy. Yeah, this guy can win games. I'm not going to play any of this stuff. So. I don't know. We'll see. Let's we'll leave everything here for now. I'm I'm gonna gonna it ended up being five cards if we did that. Well, we just opened fourth year Lingus, so I think we are. <laughs> yeah. you know, We've been getting that card every drop, it seems. Yeah, this card is hella good. I, I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's so good. If we do pick this up, I would like to pick up... What is the overlap? Green. If I can get a green-white dual land, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, I'm going to take fourth year Lingus. There's some other good cards in this pack. This would make, like, be searchable by both of our fetch lands. Makes our mana better, but this card is just fucking busted. I just want to take the best cards right now. Okay, wooded foot, wooded foot hills. 
purchases up a lot of our lands. We could this makes it so we could add a planes to play these two these three cards. We could also take Sylvan Karyatid, which is something to play early, acceleration and fixing. I think that's what I'm gonna take. I also like Grist. Also, I think Imperial Seal's way worse than uh, our other tutors. Uh, him to Turok is good, but double black on turn two might be tough. Yeah, let's just take this. Oh, a library. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to take library. Fuck anything else. Don't even care. I think, like last night I was talking about how library in our mono red deck, I ended up playing it there when we had so many one drops. Here we don't have a ton of one drops and we're a slower deck, so library fits a lot better. Um, Savannah and this both do what I was asking for with our fetch lands. And then we have Bob. We could take Bob and see if one of those two wheels. I think that's what I'm going to do. I really love Bob. It's like a, something to play early, card advantage, just real nice card. Exhum, Fire, uh, Goldspan Dragon, Oracle, play multiple lands a turn and stuff. I think I'm just going to take another hasty good creature. Animate Dead, I like. I like Animate Dead. Black White Land. This makes it so we can play our stuff a little bit better. We have, what, nine lands? This is 25 cards already, and I'm happy to play most of these. So I'll just pick up an extra land to make it slightly easier to play. So I hope Savannah or that uh, Abzan land. Oh, you got the Library of Alexandria? Uh, yeah. I took it because I was just like, this deck that seems better. Good. Yeah, it's much better in this deck than the mono red deck, but I even played it there, so. Hey, doggo. I don't even think we ended up drawing it in the opening hand, did we? Uh, no, we never drew it in the opening hand. Yeah. So 17.5% my I, ass. Yeah, I was anti. Yeah, you were, yeah. Anti. No, uh, I don't think there was ever a point where we drew it and. I think it was we only needed a mountain. We you know? we played it. We played it in the very last game, I remember. Okay. I think it was the very last game. I don't remember. I really liked that mono red deck. That was a lot of fun. So this deck, what are some of the cards that are like weaker, I guess? Uh, we could put Endurance in the sideboard. Um, we don't need to play this but i feel like it's I'm like, well is it free let me look i have one two uh three four white so blue sources that's not free by any means but you have only two cards so it's like not the hardest to play um i don't know what else i want to cut from here i like a lot of these but a lot of this stuff is just like game ending really powerful Cards that can win the game on their own. So, I don't want to keep all of them. Life Dance, I'll put that in the sideboard. I don't think I'm going to play it. Okay, here's a uh, Trademark Tar Pit. Hard to. Uh, red Dual Lands. This gets a mountain. One, two. I'm just gonna take this. Yeah, I'm fine with taking that. Grist, I like. Okay, cool. I think I'd rather play that than that. So let's move this side to sideboard. All right, this guy wheeled. I'm happy. I'll play this. This makes our white source, uh, our white splash, a lot easier. So that seems cool. So this card seems. You know, sideboardable. So this is 24. We need to cut one card from this deck. Mm. Maybe Rampaging Raptor. It's like a worse version of this. I also think I like all of these better. Um, Omnath isn't insane. I mean, it is quite powerful. We have, like, if... We have two fetch lands. Yeah, I think I'll just cut it. Fine. I like the other fours better, I think. 
they're easier to play, that's for sure. Um, wants us to play one of each. I don't think we need to play any islands for one card with, like, four sources. Don't think we need to play any planes with... How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven white sources. So this makes it so we can play an extra... We have multiple double red cards. What well, many red sources do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, not a lot. Let's get more red. And green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green sources. So I think we should get one more of those. So we'll have, that'll be the deck. This looks fun. I like your deck. Yeah, it looks fun. This looks weird, but I like it. It's basically Jund, which is uh, green, red, blue. I mean, green, red, black, with splashing a blue card and splashing a couple white cards. <laughs> But these cards are really good. Because I don't need to play this one, but we could play like Endurance instead. But I think this guy. What I like about this deck is, like, let's say we're playing against a control deck, right? I think our worst matchup would be combo decks. Because combo decks, we really don't have much game against at all. Um, but control decks will be like, oh, he played, uh, like, Goblin Ramble Master. We had we I got to deal with that. Oh, he played Minskin Boo. I got to deal with that. Oh, he played this guy. I got to deal with it. He played Goldspan Dragon. I got to deal with it. Fourth Year Lingus won the game. You know, like we just have so many cards that they just have to deal with all the time. Um. Yeah, and then like the Reanimate and the Animate Dead, bringing back some of these, uh, you know, powerful creatures is really good. Um, we can bring in the fire confront against, you know, aggro decks. We can bring in this guy against some stuff. Endurance is good against, <laughs> Endurance is good against, uh, reanimator. I guess I could be playing this one guy as, because I'm saying I'm so weak against control. I mean, uh, combo. Maybe I should be bringing in this guy. All right. Well, we have library in our opening hand, so let's really? do that. That's cool. Yeah. It's actually funny though, because we have library in our opening hand, but we have a double red green drop and a, or you know, a two drop that's two colors and a three drop that's three colors. So you know, but I'm not giving up the chance to play library, especially against a blue deck. Okay, cast that. Draw a card. We go up to nine cards. Do I just want to kill that guy with like uh wooden fiddles and a braid? I mean I guess so, because we would be discarding it otherwise. Taiga. Okay. And then next turn we can draw, play a land, cast Ren and Six. I guess Ren 6 is pretty nice with his Besage here. You can start, like, destroying our opponent's basic lands. Or just all their stuff. Alright, what are you getting with this? Ancestral Time Walk or Jordan Mana Drain. Those are the three, I assume. Like, that's why you're playing this guy, right? Oh, Brainstorm? Okay, well, that seems way worse. Okay. Oh, we can even play Ren 6 and shoot his guy. Okay, so we're going to play Bayou. Play Bayou. Tap this. Draw a card. Red, green. Play Ren 6. Shoot his guy. And that guy's already done its thing. There's no reason to just... Might as well just get it off of the board. Especially because, like, we go into discard if I don't. So. Okay. Talisman. Draw for an eighth land. An eight. We could play one of these tap lands and get out Leobold next turn. I guess that seems best because. Ooh, we could also like. Besage you down this thing. But that doesn't actually do anything wrong. I was thinking Besage. Yeah, it might as well though, right? It cuts them off black. 
Um, and it makes it so we can then return this. That's like a plus ability. Yeah, I like that. I guess this is a free shuffle for his brainstorm, which is a, a deal. Okay, he didn't take that advantage. Okay, so now draw an extra card. Go up to eight. Return Vestagio. Play out Swamp and cast Vamp Tutor. I mean, that's the most value, or we can just get a tribe. And I'm just going to do it. It's mana efficient. We don't have to discard. What are we going to get, though? We have, I guess we'll get a nice five drop. We'll get it, like, well, this guy, we don't have white mana, so let's not get it. Let's get the other five drop. Let's get, oh, let's, we, well, fourth year Lingus I'd also like to get, but I can't play it yet. So I guess I'll just get Gold Span Dragon. Seems good. How's dinner looking, baby? It's almost done. Nice. Aww. What? Praise and borrower. I'm gonna kill my Ren in six. Lame. Lame. Fish. So this guy's like a control and a combo deck. Uh, next turn, I can... We draw. I decide what I want to play. Figure out what land I want to get into play. Activate library. I'm thinking we play Minskin Boo. Unfortunately, that does again... Well, you know what? I'm going to play attack land. Because then I can get out Leopold next turn. Play a tap land. Yes. Uh, activate library. Play fill in character. Oh. God, Asparagus is so good. Top tier vegetable. I should make a vegetable tier list. What do you think, baby? A tier list for vegetables. Yes. I'll also do uh, child, ch uh, you know, when I was a kid and then when I'm an adult, how I how they've changed. Oh, yeah, I'm drawing gold span dragon. And I don't have a double red source. I'm so stupid. I got a guy I can't play either. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll play Carrier to this turn, so, okay. Play out the tri -land. I'm not stupid, guys. Don't. I'm just dumb, yeah. <laughs> I'm just a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a dumb and a, yeah. Son, you disappoint me. All right. I like how we've drawn all these extra cards with library, and he's had to spend all this mana to catch up to us. But at the same time, we played a land that we've tapped every turn to draw extra cards. So it's like we've spent four mana. But I'll spend four mana to draw four cards. I mean, that seems great. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> 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 you play, so are you going to play the Dreading <laughs> Well, I don't have. I, I was thinking maybe I could also play Miss Kimber. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I was on video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like walk by and try to like lift my load to like cover, you know? I didn't know I could be seen. Yeah, I thought I was invincible. <laughs> I feel like I've been playing slow, but I'm up a minute on this game. So. 
All right. And he's tapped out now, so I think we should just play our strongest card, which is... Which is... Blank. Um, Minskin Boo? Or no, if we play Gold Skian Dragon and attack with it, we can also play something else. All right. Is that true? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'd have to tap library to play two things. Well, no, we could play Leobold. Well, is that true? No, that's not true either. Because that's of any, any one color. All right. We also destroyed the, we used Besage to kill this thing, which cuts him off three mana. That seems pretty good. Okay, so here we go. Thank you so much for the Woo, fantastic. All right, so red, 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 boom, 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 cast gold band dragon. Attack with the dragon. Take four, you know, we're gonna draw an extra card, play a land, which, uh, is this got legendary? No. Okay, so we have to spend this for two green mana. I want to destroy this thing because that cuts him off two mana. That seems pretty good. This shit is steaming hot. Um, and then we will play a dry land, I guess. We could also play this and go get a, I'm going to play this and go get the, the white dry land. So then we could play this guy next turn. Also, because I think he's like the Kiki-Jiki combo deck, which makes sense, most blue-red players are. I just want to keep up Snuff Out as long as possible. Like, if he counters it, the turn he combos, he counters it. But I'm going to take this Buried and Borrow three damage over and over. Not care. Got it. And this is so good. God, I love this stuff. Just casting treasure cruise again. The dog is begging for food. When I say begging, I mean he's sniffing my plate. Oh, no fit. Good sit. You can have a bite. This bite's too big for you. This is too good. You don't deserve this. <laughs> This you don't deserve this much for doing the one trick you know. You know I mean? <laughs> he doesn't even catch. If you toss him the food, it just hits him in the forehead every time. Well, he'll just look at it and where it drops, and then go pick it up. Yeah. Unless it lands on his face, which I've seen that, and he's like, <laughs> "What are we doing here?" Casting. He targeted treasure crew, so obviously he's going to cast it. One, two, three, four. What the hell is going on? Wow. What's He's... that? No, this guy can cast a card from your graveyard, and he casts into, uh, the card that draws in three cards. But my interesting thing is, like, he specifically left these cards in the graveyard. He could have used them to cast it and, like, had two more mana up. So, or why did he do it like that? That's, like unusual and it's very sus all right first things first let's draw an extra card all right let's play um i think i want to cast leobold now cosmo got your fucking mouth all right, all right. that just resolves without any issue so, if 
I play Olinga and I have four mana, I guess I could play Minskin Boo here. Okay. That will put me down to five cards. We'll take off library activations. Isn't that worth it? I mean, yes, it is. Is it time to just start going for it? Yeah, I think it's just time to start, like, putting in the pressure. Play Minskin Boo. Would like to use ability? Yes. Uh, I, I'm gonna make this. I yeah, I'm gonna make this guy huge, and then I'm gonna attack for eight. Which is good. And this treasure sacks for two mana because of this guy. So <laughs> seems pretty good. But all right, he's blocking this guy to prevent four damage, which is I think that's kind of crazy, but. To each their own. But the thing is, if he is this combo deck, like, he's got so many... He's got so much. Like, he's seen, you know, 26 of the cards of his deck. So if he is this combo deck, like, he's probably got the combo by this point. I can't imagine him not. Not 100% sure, but I think this guy was in my draft. I think I remember when I looked at the names, I saw his. So, uh oh. What happened? This guy's seen this card that like can do some cool stuff from his graveyard, but you know. Uh, but if he finds Lion's Eye Diamond and, uh, Brain freeze, we lose. I thought he was a different combo there. I thought he was KGG combo. He might still be. He might just be jamming this to put it into his. Uh... Wait. That explains why he left two cards in his graveyard. Okay, two mana. Brian freezes himself. <laughs> what is this time to us there? Mind desire. Okay. All right, what for five. Uh, this is basically you shuffle, take card from the top, you get to play for free. He has a solo ring, season song, land, land. Come on, land, land, land. Come on, land, land. Talisman. That's basically a land. <laughs> And, and only one of those cards goes to the graveyard. So, that's also pretty good. Okay. He's got two cards left in hand, so if, I mean, he might just brain freeze us and we lose, which would suck, but, like, we have no, nothing to do against it, unfortunately. What is this? This is a lot of mana. What is this? I'm confused. Oh, did they get to Mind Desire again? Nice. Well, this is the entire deck. And there's Brain Freeze, who we lose. Oh, That sucks. Oh, wait! No! Wait! Ah, oh, damn. What? Oh, well, hold on. I wonder. Um. I don't know. He's gonna, he's gonna win, but 
It's also annoying how we won. Alright, so I should have been bringing the pressure like a turn earlier. Yeah. I really thought it was a different deck. We're gonna get to draw a bunch of extra cards though. So maybe we'll find an answer. I don't think there is one in our deck. Cosmo, get down, get down, get down. You have all, how many how many cards do you have left? Seventeen. He's about to mill all of them. So I might as well draw my deck to see if there's a solution to this. I don't think I have without one. without oh you have two mana. Yeah, I'm like maybe if I have a target player who draws one card, we can win the game. I don't think we have anything like that. But. Yeah, all right. can see before you start seeing our cards. All right. Damn. All right. Well played by him. Okay. So, knowing that, I want to take out Burst Lightning. I want to bring in both of these cards. Both of these cards are really good against him. Uh, this one takes a card from his hand, and he gets it back when this guy dies, mm -hmm. but he doesn't seem to have any removal. And this card exiles cards from his graveyard. Which, well, they, it shuffles his graveyard back into his deck, which is a huge... Huge fuck you to his deck. So. What's up, Cosmo? Snuff out. We had our hand the whole game. So we'll get rid of that. <laughs> I guess Murderous Rider, like, mm, is fine, but this guy does a lot more damage, but it is way more man. I don't know. Mm, I'll just keep the birds like Maybe we can sh shoot his face or something. I don't know. Cosmo, shut the hell up. If you feel good, do you like it? Hell of a Top tier dinner at 7 p.m. This is the best dinner I've ever had this day. <laughs> <laughs> um, alright. This land, we can... Well, I... Is it potting or something? I guess, yeah, I'm no, gonna No, he just it. wants food. Of course! Gonna... I just took him out. He did it all of it. Like well, he actually didn't poop, but... Potty? He, he literally Potty. did poop right before... Okay, I gotta put pants on. He's like all excited. Did you put bags in that thing? Yeah, there's some bags in it. Um... Yeah, I don't know what card I'd even get right now. Bob, start drawing extra cards. Go. You know where my shoe is? My shoes are? Mm hmm. I saw one upstairs. I know where the card is. Can you see if the other one's downstairs? If I do that? It's not. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get Dark Confidant, I guess. I don't know, dude. Mm. Well, we can play Leobald. Leobald seems like a good card. Did he shit? Did he rip your shoe up? Dude, you're so bad. What do you do? Fucking ruin my shoe. What a piece of that. What a piece of shit. I love these shoes. I mean, I'm still gonna wear them, but... The, the soul is in somewhere in the house. So, okay, you'll find out and let me know. Man, bad dog. Hit him with the shoe. <laughs> I would, honestly. I'd hit him. Well, no, we're not, we're not gonna hit him with the We're three minutes. We're not gonna hit him with the shoe. We're not hitting with the shoe, guys. Bad dog. Oh, that shit's not uncomfortable. <laughs> God damn it. What a little ass wipe. That's what he was doing under the bed when I was watching him. 
That was so good. Thank you so much, sweetie. Okay, so we need to figure out a way to target this guy. This sucks. Alright, if we can draw a red source, this will be pretty good. I'm actually turn off all the yields. I'm gonna sacrifice this end of turn. We only have like two red sources in the whole deck though. I mean uh white sources. Well we we have more than two. But Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay, well, that was okay, I guess. Um, he obviously Imperial sealed for a land, though. He had, he got brainstorm locked for a while there. Hopefully we can beat the brainstorm block. <laughs> Pretty fucked up if your opponent gets brainstorm locked and you still can't beat them. This got brainstorm last time. Consider this time. We attack, it kills both of his guys. Oh, he can't block with that guy. Okay. I think if we attack with this guy, we can ping it. And it dies before we get to draw a card, so. Um. No, I think we should burst lightning it. Oh wait, we did let him draw an extra card. Whatever, I think it probably is worth the extra 3 damage. Or getting the guy off the board, too. I don't know. A red source we win, a white source we win. Untapped versions. Um, Helm of Awakening, that's going to set up for next turn for him. He's missing land drops. We know he's got to consider. He's going to discard. That guy's also lethal, I think. Yeah, this is 10 damage coming at you. Oh, wait, this guy doesn't have haste. We would have been lethal. Man, Burst Lightning would have been lethal, too. Guess I maybe I should have abraded. Maybe I should have abraded this. That was probably a big mistake. Because I thought it was lethal. Uh I might get punished for that, guys. If I do. I have myself to blame. How come whenever I do something, then two seconds later I see the good play? But if I thought two seconds longer, I would not have seen the play either, so. Damn, dude. Alright, seething song. <sighs> I just hope he doesn't have a uh, whatever that card's name is. He can't draw more cards, so It's 
So that was just filtering of mana to blue, which could be useful for him. But the fact he can't draw extra cards really hurts him here. Is that the same deck? Yeah, this is game two. I think I'm winning this game. He's on his last turn. Uh, but he he might be able to do it, depending on what he has in his hand. Uh, I guess this did generate one mana. So that was of some use, but it did cut him off a card. Thanks to Leopold. Uh... Usually I let the dog lick the plate, but he just ruined Stephanie's shoot. What the fuck? Dude? He doesn't even remember it's fine. Uh, no, it's, I'm still not going to reward him. He might not remember, but I certainly do. Treat! No! You get to treat for one poop outside. Come on, Cosmo. Sit. Sit. Okay. Alright, fine. Well, yes, you know. He's been doing good. Besides chewing the shoe. Yeah, besides chewing your shoe, chewing my shoe, pooping inside yesterday. <laughs> besides all the shit that he's doing. You should have seen him the puppy. <laughs> he was way worse. You have the bait. Look, oh, hell. Do you have it? It's over here, yeah. I mean, he's been spending a lot of time. I think it doesn't matter how much time he spends, so eight minutes is plenty enough for his deck to win. For game three. Look at this dog. Look at him in the corner there trying to get the. No. He finally casted something. Bad, 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 bad. Oh no, Tendrils of Agony. That's not good. How many cards? What's his Storm Can have? Four? Okay. So this gives him a bunch of extra turns. How many turns? Well, it does it actually. He gains. Right now, he would cast this. Deal 12 to us, gain 12. If he can play two more spells, he'll win. It's three cards in hand. Can he play. Two spells with three mana and all his cards costing one less. I just, I never noticed the outline of this card. Oh, well, it looks like a brain. Yeah, yeah, it's a brain, but you see like the mouth and the yeah. can and stuff. I never noticed that part. No, oh, I always notice that. I don't even know that card. <laughs> <laughs> you have to like it. zoom in on it to know, like. Did you have a hard copy of it? No, I've never had. A hard okay, copy well, it. it's hard to. You have to like zoom in on it to see it. Yeah. He's at one. He's at two. <laughs> don't have me, bro. You don't have a... Oh. You don't have a mountain? Yeah. Also, this doesn't deal damage to face. I used this one earlier. I could have won this game. One, two. If I had used this earlier. I could have killed this thing, which would have been good. I could have... Killed this creature with this earlier and saved this, which would have been good. Oh, we got to draw a bunch of extra cards. That's good. Okay. I will draw... Well, how many... He's milling for one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, eighteen cards. So I can draw, like, one extra card. I mean, I don't need to draw anything. I have all the... Stuff I need to win. I just want him to not. Is he targeting me or him? He should have targeted himself. Let's see if Endurance gets milled. So if Endurance doesn't get milled, then we could... Oh, who's the very last card he's milled. Sweet. Oh, we could reanimate it. So we're taking 12. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no to all of these. No, 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 no. Okay, we're at one. Chain lightning in your face. Okay, how? So he's at 16. Draw. I don't know how much damage this is. 
Let's do some math. This is going to be 4, 5, 6, 10, 13, 7, 18. Okay. We got it, boys. Oh, but we're at 1, and I can't cast my card. Oh, we can cast Squee from the graveyard. He has haste, so, and that, this guy's for all goblins, right? Okay, so. Okay, I just need to stack, oh, yeah, I can reanimate it. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, eleven, fifteen, eighteen. Okay. I just gotta make sure I stack this right, I think. Yeah, I have mana floating. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Okay, I think this this think this works. Okay, I wanna stack it and I want this one to resolve first. So I click put this one on the stack first. Yeah. Okay. I think that's lethal. Right, baby, good job. Woo-wee! The fact that he nailed that squee was clutch. Okay. Um, would this guy also have done it? This would have been also enough, but whatever. The other way was fancier and cooler. Is that the way you just did? The way I did was the coolest. So. I am so cool. Alright, uh, let's run it back. Let's remember, just be hyper-aggressive. Okay. Oh, you started with your mocks. Yeah, my mocks and my library. That's I, not good, right? Well, it is good because, like, I can... Because we're on the draw, this is good. If we were on the play, this hand would not be good. So I can go oh, library, so can draw a card, go to eight, play my mocks, not have to discard. Oh, I see. Next turn... So now you're not really like a land behind it. Yeah. So. Raw. Okay. So. This is interesting. I don't have the red men I need to kill his thing right now. I could like play swamp. Activate library. Maybe I should have played li activate library during my upkeep. I don't know. Can you so, not activate it right now? I can, but I have to play a land to activate it. But if I hit, if there's a mountain underneath, my if my top card is red source, I would have been punished. Oh, you can't draw if you have seven cards? You have to have exactly seven. So if I had done it before my draw step, I'm, oh, and if I the see. top card oh, is a mountain. Oh, I see how that works. Yeah. So, the question is, do I want to get this try land in now? Which would be more beneficial long game, or do I want to just like gamble? Like, if I play a land in Demonic Tutor, land, draw a card, Demonic Tutor, I mean, there's nothing hyper aggressive I can get right this second, so I think I just play this try land. Play the try land, play, and I don't want to discard, so I'm going to activate Library during his turn. We have no one drops that are white, so we can't get punished for this. All right, let's draw now. Okay, Griff. Oh, so you? Oh, because at your end phase, if yeah. you have eight cards, you have to discard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, three, four, squee. Okay, or to ready? I mean, this is squee, different person. Cosmo. You got your bone? Cool. Uh, I was like, what does that guy have in his hand? And I mean my dog. Or, uh, and when I mean hand, I mean mouth. <laughs> Alright. So. Go up to nine. Uh, I honestly might demonic tutor for a mountain. So I can destroy this. So then you can't get like this card back with this guy. 
you have to play another. Well, it, yeah, it, I don't have another green source either. If I had a green source, dude, there's so many like if in this deck. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my gut. Cast this. Go get a mountain. Play the mountain and kill off this thing, which puts him back. And hopefully a little bit longer than. Man, is there any mount? Yeah, I have a mountain that's also a green source. I have taiga. Could also get wooded foothills and then sacrifice it to go get taiga to thin my deck out of one land. But this would actually be a pretty decent draw, I think, right now. So we'll just get taiga. Get taiga. Play taiga. Boom. Red. Destroy this. Now, he doesn't have a ton of artifacts in his deck to utilize them. Oh, what, is, what does that card do? It replaces an artifact from Graveyard with one in play. Oh. So I'm hoping he doesn't get okay, well there. Well... Oh, and then are you, you don't want him to get Memory Jar? Yeah. Memory Jar is sacrifice it, draw. Most players just... Well, put their hands aside, draw seven new cards, and at the end of turn, oh, it has discard seven loyalty. those cards. Yeah, it has seven loyalty now. Because he just upticked it, which is pretty good for us. He discarded one card and drew one card. Okay, so uh, land. I'm going to play a land. We have seven. I'm going to activate this, draw an extra card. Green, green, boom, boom. Play Questing Beast. Questing Beast will attack his face, and when Questing Beast deals damage to an opponent, it also deals damage to one of their Planeswalkers. Oh, really? The same amount? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Really cool card. So it also Vigilance, Death Touch, Haste, can't be blocked by small creatures, and damage can't be prevented. <laughs> it's like one of the cards that's like, like when Power Creep, like, well, Power Creep had always been a thing, but when this card came out, people were like, what the fuck? Why does this do everything? All right. Here we go. What do you got, buddy? Do your worst. So he's going to play as many cards from his hand as he can, and then sacrifice this to hope to get a new grip of cards. We also, well, I could play Leopold. Maybe that would have been better. Black, green, blue. Just cast this. I don't know, dude. Okay, let me go upstairs. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you. You're going to be up there after this, right? I'll come back down here a little bit. Okay. Yeah, as soon as this is over, I'm done. But this is round one, remember? Okay. And we're already an hour and three minutes into this. Ugh. Yeah, I, maybe Leovold would have been better, because playing it makes it so it just deactivates the memory jar. Him activating the Mary Girl will put creature will make us discard our fresh hand, right? And maybe we'll have something that's good to reanimate. It'd be cool if like this guy or this guy was in our hand right now. Reanimating those would be really good. He's trying to figure out what he's got. I mean, he doesn't have a ton of time on the clock. Hopefully this like Time pressure gets to him. Okay, he's playing Spellseeker. Gotta cast Brainstorm. Oh, Quirkbox. Put the card he needs back on top, yeah? I'm gonna text you something, so look at your phone. Okay. Yeah, he's putting something back. Gonna crack the memory jar. I guess the card he needs is in his hand. Oh, turn off auto yields.
Endurance was a great card to draw in this fresh grip. Okay. Hold on, undo. We're gonna make sure that this is like that, and then we're gonna do this. Bring this in play, get rid of his graveyard. Probably doing this a little early. Maybe I should have done this after this stuff, because maybe he puts more cards into the graveyard. Hey, but that was the card that I wanted to do that for. So that's awesome. Got no mana floating, so the Helm of Awakening doesn't do much. Brainstorm. And Brazen Borrower. Brazen Borrower is okay, I guess. But he can only cast a 3 1. Does he really want to play that right now? What is this? What does he got? I mean, he's got 10 seconds. I think this is it, right? Okay. Um. Yeah, he's off of it. That was a great round. All right, uh, round two. Ooh, what a game. I'm just a little tired, guys. Sorry. Kind of like some dad was thinking about stuff. Um, yeah, that was a cool last round. Hopefully, uh, if you get, if I can get games play like that, all three rounds, I don't care if I owe three. You know, truly, that was interesting and interactive. Had a lot of good decisions to be made. It's fun. Fun stuff. Hey, Cosmo. You want to come up here? You want to come here? You want to come here? If you try to lick this plate, I swear to you. 
put it over here. Whoa. I'm gonna put it here. And you're not getting to it, I swear. Good luck. Have fun. Obtain. Uh, you and the dive world, would you like to play? Yes, I would. Uh, would you like to keep? Why? Yes, I would. Alright, so we need to get a red source with this wooded foothills. Um, uh, I don't think any of our reds... Well, we have a Jund land that comes into play tap. I guess we'll get that. Yo! Take the, the heart medicine, no? Like the aspirin and stuff? Uh, no. I, well, maybe the aspirin, but not the other thing. Okay. Do, do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Oh, to prefer Black Lotus. What is this guy doing? All right. Place that. I guess we'll just burst lightning that now then. Okay. Yeah. Wait, undo. Play this. Kill it with this. Cast. Alright, you want to get down? Dude, this dog always wants to get down. And if it's just to get this, I'm not letting you have it. So, you know? I'll just pet you. I guess that's what you want. You just want pets. Constant attention. Who? Me? No. No. You're not going to hold the bed to it. No. I thought you wanted to talk about me. I thought you wanted to put my lap and then I was like, you just want this plate, don't you? I put it over, so I put it over here and then he's like, and then I was like, you just want this plate, don't you? I put it over, so I put it over here and then he's like, so then I put him down and I put him up there. You silly Cosmo. You silly. Silly Cosmo. Cosmos are for Cosmo. Um, uh, what am I getting? I guess I could get Squee, I could get... Yeah, I think Squee's pretty good. Let's just put some pressure on, you know? Like, if I had the mana to play, uh, Leobold, that's what I would be casting this time, but... I think Squee's pretty good. Um, next turn I can run in six and could Okay. Every turn he uh I could run in six and bring back the foothills. I think that's pretty good. Uh, killing this cuts him off on mana, though. Yeah, I think I want to cut him off on mana. Man, this mint is awesome. It's like a lifesaver with like these little red dots uh, maybe it's a peppermint i don't know it's hella good it's only a work gauge for me fire wow academy and gaia's cradle that's bonkers prism okay Tap Ren down. Uh, mm. We're going to return this land to our hand. Um, guess we'll play this. Back for four. I don't know what I could get.
Take your damage and then I'll figure this out. Take five. Like. Mm -hmm. I could go get uh or your your lingus. If I kill this servo token, I'm cutting him off two mana and a creature that you know. Hmm. What two drops do I have? Not a lot. I think I honestly am just gonna kill that guy. Let's sack this and see what lands I have. What two drops could I get? I could get a braid. Kill off the prism. That cuts him off three mana. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get the fourth year Lingus. So if that's the case, I need a white source here. I think. Yeah, let's kill off. Uh, let's kill this guy off. Just cutting him off two mana seems good. Cut some off his... Alright. I don't know. What are you getting with this? Black Lotus? Damn. Metamorphos you got? Oh, he need red mana? Or something? Cycling land? I'm so confused. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Um. Okay, this card seems good. Darren seems okay. I think I'm gonna bring in this guy and take out. Maybe snuff out doesn't seem that amazing. Maybe it's better than Murderous Rider, though. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand, can play this guy on turn three, can play this guy on turn four, then this on turn five, I mean. He's a much faster, like, a uh, combo -y deck. He's got a lot of extra mana, but. I'm gonna play this and thin my deck. Let's get. This one. Next turn, play this one. Then three, and turn four. I mean, our whole game plan's pretty much spelled out already. He's got so much mana next turn, though. Ooh, Oka. Okay. Back Oka. Uka Oka is such a stupid magic card. Yeah. Alright, turn your thing into a 3-3. Three, three. He's at 6 now. Now he's attacking? Okay. What have we got from here? He's got to be following that up with something. A charter course? Okay. Nothing? Black Lotus? Oh, something? 
Time warp? Oh, something. Oh, something. Certainly something. Holy fuck. Dude, Oko is such a busted mass magic card. Like, taking an extra turn with it, it's just, like, stupid. Uh... I, mean, I think this game is over, really, but... Oh, this is the second phase that's totally meant to go to Oko. I don't think it's gonna matter, though. Oh, okay, he sacrifices a clue. Both of his guys are dying. If I hit OK, why do I have to hit OK? Why can't I hit like done or whatever? <clears throat> the fact that I have all these haste creatures, though, could get the job done against Oko. Play out this land. Go get, like, Bayou, I guess. There are black or white source untapped. I mean, a white or blue source untapped? No. Now let's get Bayou. I want to leave multiple bodies. I can't do that because I didn't play this land. All right, all right. Attack that, attack Oko. Yep. Yeah. Okay, takes four, then he's gonna turn my guy into a 3-3. Three, three. Amazingly, I'm gonna be able to kill this next turn if he doesn't have more. He actually might be able to make a flyer and stuff, though. Like... Tap this, make a dude, untap it, then that's six mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. He could currently do that, but not do anything else. And he might not know he needs to. I mean, he doesn't know he needs to do that. But does he have instance and stuff that makes him want to do that anyway? Time will tell. Oh, man, that was brutal. Okay, uh, turn off all deals. I'm going to stop during my upkeep and vamp tutor for something. Maybe a reanimate. I have three black sources, so that's fine. We draw a play. We have one, two, three, four. What's he bringing back? Black Lotus. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna bring back. I'm gonna bring in endurance. For sure, bring it in endurance now. Uh, does this kill Oko? Yes, it does. I'm gonna bring in Baraska too. Now our game plan is just non-existent. You spend all his mana. Okay, we can kill Oko here. Oh, that's a cool draw too. Okay. 
Play the library. Activate it. Draw an extra card. Play one, two, three, four. Cast this guy. This guy goes at Oko. This guy goes at his face. We kill off the Oko. We play Bob. Now we have a lot going for us. I mean, cast the echo from the graveyard and stuff to redraw. I don't know. We've done some damage. We have guys in play. Like, we're drawing a bunch of extra cards every turn with the current setup. But I don't know. Yeah, gets Black Lotus again, of course. Time warp, going to take another turn, okay. I'm Twister, all right, all right. Turn off auto yields in case we need to snuff out something. I mean, I think we have lethal. Oh, wait, he's going to get another turn. Or was that? No, that was last time, right? He's already used his extra turn. I think I'm going to snuff out this guy, though. Cuts him off a blocker, cuts him off of a mana. Oh, he does get an extra turn. Okay. All right. I mean, one, two, three, four, be five, this for five, that's ten damage. He's drawn like his whole deck. He's got so much shit. A Black Lotus again. Frank search. He has two lands that... Well, the, that forest makes extra mana. The guy's cradle could make extra mana. That card, that taps for a lot of mana. Just like, holy hell. He's doing it all. Wow, he has got, like, every draw set. I'll, I'll, I'll click return. I don't even know what the difference is. Uh, would you like to discard your hand draw seven cards? I guess so. It's the power of the unknown, you know? Okay. Uh. 
That Oko fucked us up, dude. We could have done so much more. Could have killed him so much faster. Black Lotus felt like a look death time this game. And I don't even think I'm exaggerating. I think that's the fifth time. Let's just kill this guy. Screw it. Endurance and Veraska coming in. If there's a game three. He's got a Veraska. Dude. Dude, my goo, my dude, my guy. Dog freaks me out. Like... I don't make my food. Dude, so this dog will always put his head on a bag. We had a bed right here, but he laid on the bed. It was ridiculous. What has he been doing, by the way? I haven't been paying attention. I'm assuming he's got, like... Easily. Two cards left in his deck. Cast Dasa's Oracle or whatever. He's got another turn after this, right? Uh, diggity damn. I would, like, I want to draft this deck one time. The just infinite card draw deck. I mean, he has, I think, every wheel in his deck. And that's lethal. All right, game three. Bring in Veraska and Endurance. I thought we had lost game one, honestly. Uh, we're going to take out... So I thought it was fine just because it's like three. Hmm. I think I'm going to take out Animate Dead. And... Maybe Grist. Okay, um, yeah, we'll keep this hand. It's not the most exciting, but we have some interaction. First lightning, a little creature, if you play something, the sage you away, uh, like, retrofitter foundry or mana vault. In the second mountain, we have to play this Raptor guy. We could legendary creature. Okay, so we're going to play Squee. 
Так. That's for two now. Hmm. Then his ran six costs our second gr or green, so we can't it and Besedro. Guess we attack. I'll cast uh burst lightning. Kill his guy. Okay, you didn't want to do it. Okay. We'll play this. Returning Besejo. And we'll cast Demonic Tutor, finding maybe Ortheolingus. Um yeah, we can cat we can do that. We could get we can't get snuff out to kill his guy. Good cat. I think Fortheolingus is the best play. Next turn, be able to play it with, like, yeah, I mean, this, we might just be dead. He's got so much extra mana. Uh, time warp. Ugh. Fuck, dude. Fuck. It's ridiculous. This deck is stupid. Why is he saying your deck is stupid? No, I said his deck is stupid. Why? Because it's insane. It's like one of the best decks ever. I think he's cast Black Lotus like 10 times. Oh, in this game? In this match. He Black Lotus game one, Black Lotus like five or six times in game two. Oh, you won the first game? Yeah, I won the first game. How? I don't even remember. I thought I lost. Honestly. Uh, he's time warped, like, multiple times. He's... Hey, I think he has every single draw seven in the format. I'm not even joking. He has the sale. He has Wheel of Fortune. He has Echo Beyonce. He has Time Twister. I mean, I don't know how many more there are, but... Yeah. I, I, I think he's got them all, baby. I think he's got them. He's... 
He has Academy. He's tapping it for a shitload of manic. He's frantic search and untapped it multiple times. Like, we're just getting wrecked. We're getting riggedy wrecked. He's got Oko. He's, I mean, he's just doing everything. And there's three played like three planeswalkers this in these last two turns. Yeah, I think we are done so. Hmm. We'll play this guy out. Not there. Play this guy. Oh, he's got an eight eight. Right, I'm just gonna concede. GG's. All right, last man. Uh, honestly, yeah. Did you win the first one? Yeah, we did. Good job, baby. Aww. Thank you. What? When you messaged me, was that when you started? Yeah. Okay. It's been. I already saw that. Oh, okay. I've been eyeballing you, Frito, all night. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, talk to the chips. No. Frito Kelly Cheese Chips. Talk to you. Yeah, maybe I wanna make a Frito pie with these. We'd probably need a batch. I'll do it. What was that stuff? What was that thing you called it? Yeah, you knew the name when they like put Riso and cheese in these bags and shake them I up. I knew a name? Yeah. No, I told you I seen someone do it. I oh. gave you a name? I thought you said your name. No, I just said I seen people do it. Let me look at We don't pie in the bay. No. It's called Frito yeah. Pie in the Bay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what a terrible name. Walking Frito Pie. Is that better for you? Yes. I accept <laughs> that. I bet Johnny would like that. Dude, yeah, yeah. Anything Johnny's seen on the internet, but I want. I see someone eat it in a cartoon one time. I'm about it. You're like, Johnny, what are bananas good for? He's like, uh, tripping people over. He said that? No, but I can just <laughs> imagine him saying it. I'm going to call Katana. I forgot to call Johnny. It's getting late. Early. Um, alright, we'll keep this in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, until we cast the time home. I don't know what we're playing against or what we want to get yet. Like, it's not fun casting a bat tutor to get a land, but <laughs> it might be about that. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Screw it. Let's just draw. No gamble, no future. Oh, well. I clicked it as if it was going to be a land before I even saw it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Are you going to do a squibby? Glee? Yeah. 
I'm just blabby. I like it. Our blue source and our white source both come in tapped, but I want to play this guy right now. So, I uh, yeah. I'm just going to get the land that can play my guy right now. The Xander, is that what it's named? The Zytora? It's a forest. Mm. What's up? I love you. Mm -hmm. awesome. You want some of this? No, I can't eat it right now, anyways. Look at this. That's probably not real, though, really, because that would be hella funny. Can I show the internet? Look at that slide. <laughs> it's pooping out head left and right. You would think the slide would be from here and that would be the end part. Yeah. Or something. Or it can go up the slide. <laughs> well, yeah, it'd be like opposite, you know, because they come out the balls and then they come out the vagina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is how it be. All right, watch this. This guy just helped us. Cast quest team base. Destroy your thing. You spent two mana to give me two mana. Yeah. Who needs the front row? He gave you two mana? He played this thing. Then I played two spells, including kill you. So. <laughs> Play a four dropping and two up on turn four. How'd you do that? Oh, by turn four. Alright. This is lethal. <laughs> Alright. Turn it back. Is that must part? be annoying when I'm eating chips and you're sleeping. Ah, oh, right, quite loud. Yeah. No. You do a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, I go to sleep like three or four hours after you go to sleep. Yeah, I'm constantly waking up and you're doing just whatever, and I like it. I'm just doing whatever. I'm what just laying else? there. It's either I'm laying there or I'm eating. Yeah. Sometimes you, you, I like brushing teeth. Sometimes you with other stuff. <laughs> I, like I didn't even really realize that he had five mana. I'm like, how did he cast well, that? You cast it literally it's just an explorer. Draw a card, cast this, and then you cast one more time. He's dead to the stuff on board, so. Looking for an answer. Yeah. He's a combo deck. So. Well, don't let him combo out. Go, 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 combo. If we lose this game, I'd be sad. How did he cast that? Oh. Galaxian Pro. Yeah. The Taxian Pro would be paid to life to do it. Did you say Gataxian? Yeah. Oh, it's T? Yeah. I like it. I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. You were going to cast it as you can see. Just like, get more information. All right. All right. Didn't see any creatures, so let's remove the removal. Yeah, I just said that. What are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. Put in endurance in this guy. Who I've cited in in almost every match. <laughs> Maybe they should be main deck. I don't know. Can you change your main deck? Mm hmm. In between rounds, you can change your deck. Well, no, but can you just change it, like, for it to always be the same? Like, when you first start a new person? Yeah, in between every round, you can alter it. I know, but then it gets rebooted. No. Oh, it stays? What, however... In between games, you can change it. And then in between rounds, you can change your main deck. Oh, I see. That makes sense. But, like, in, like, a Grand Prix or some shit, right? Your main deck, you submit that shit, it's got to be like that the entire tournament. Oh, really? For your main deck, yeah. In Can you side cards in on the first round match? Yeah, in between game two and three for everything you can. But, but like might... the first one, no. 
Mm, yeah, game one, your deck will always be the same in a Grand Prix. Mm. Mm. Even if you're like, hey, guys, look at my pool. Look how I built it. They're like, dude, this is the worst build I've ever seen. <laughs> Do I change? Well, nothing right now. Dude, I remember playing in this JSS, right? And um, it's a constructed Super? Junior Super Series. Oh, wow. I know. Um, I'm playing like this mono red deck, and Omen's watching me play game one in like round four. And I forgot to sideboard mm -hmm. in between round after my games to go into the new round, right? And I like play this guy, and he's like, That card's in your main deck. And I'm like, <laughs> Then he's just like, How am I putting I'm sorry. And then he just, he just leaves because he realizes, he's like, oh, that card is not in your main deck. And I almost just called you out for got you a game loss. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, he said that? Yeah. Well, he didn't say that out loud, but he asked, like, that card's in your main deck. He's not my opponent or anything. Oh. Just watching me play. <laughs> and he's Did like, nobody oh. noticed? Yeah, the guy's like, yeah. All right, well, I'm guessing you're going to take Minsk and Boo. Well, this hand is so good. You can't take either of these because I just reanimated. Yeah, you just take Minsk and Boo. Aww. Yeah, later, Boo. Later, Boo. I'm going to remember the lands. I'm going to put the lands that he's seen over here so I remember which ones to play. Yeah, unless you need to pay a different one. Yeah, unless, like, I draw a double green card right now. I want to give him as little information as possible. If possible. This one also deals damage to us when we tap it, so we might as well like play the swamp next turn to cast this guy. Mm -hmm. Because this guy does a lot of damage to us. Greatness at any cost. He's already dealt four damage to himself, though. We're both just trying to kill ourselves. I don't remember the guy's name, but it was this YouTube, uh, this Twitch guy I used to watch way back in the day. And uh, he was like this Swedish guy or Norwegian or some shit like that. And he was playing Vintage one time, and his opponent had this guy in play. And he was like, well, the only way I can... His opponent's at 14. He's like, well, the only way I can win is if my opponent loses his mana, crit flip, and flips over uh, Dark Steel. Colossus or whatever the that twelve mana infect guy. I need that. He loses the flip. Dark Commandant flips that over and he wins. <laughs> it was the only possible way. It was awesome. Oh, you guys to see that card you reveal though? Yeah, because we take damage equal to its converted mana cost, but luckily we drew a zero drop. So that's what you want to hit. You just want to draw lands with that card. Mm, my joints hurt. Oh, baby. Do your knees hurt? Like my ankles and stuff. It's weird. She can crack her toes. My ankles. Her ankles, her toes, head, knees, and shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> knees and toes, knees and toes. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I think my knee pops too. My knee pops without me trying. Dude, I wish it did. All right, what do we want to draw? Fourth year link. Well, I, yeah, I can cast fourth year lingus with this card. Cataxine probe. Okay. It's funny that the two cards in our hand right now, like return creatures from the graveyard, but there's no creatures in the graveyard to return. I only have two of these in my whole deck. So, all right, land, not land, fucking land. Look, I mean, not good. Now you're more likely to draw a creature, though. Right side, I like it. Two cards. Yeah, for sure. And he doesn't know what you have, so he does, though. He oh, <laughs> he, he, unfortunately, he do be know. I like that we drew this unblockable land, so if we draw our other blue source, we could start attacking with this. Do you want anything? Um, do I want anything? That's a good question. Uh, you mean like from the kitchen? Yeah. Okay, I thought you meant from the store. Oh, yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Um, no, I'm good. Um, no drink or anything? 
Well, there's a glass of water there. I'm good. I, that was enough sugar, I think. This drink was. There's no good. sugar added. It's all that doesn't it's all mean there's no sugar. So what? It's all natural sugars. It's not bad for you. It's like the sugars from the apple, like whatever yeah, sugar right. from an apple. Who gives a fuck? Not a lot of sugar. It's natural yeah, sugars. But like it's still sugar. But not. I mean. Yeah, it's not added. I know. It's not like you're eating cane sugar. It's yeah, like no. you're, it's healthy sugars. Guys, this drink is awesome. That's definitely better than the first time I had it. The Hold. first time I had it, I was like, oh my god. Hold organic fresh juice. Uh, clean it. Seven, uh, seven select. It's 7 Eleven. So smart. Flash pasteurized. Right, well, I guess I'll just lightning bolt his face and the turn. Or lightning. I think he's just dead. I think the. All right, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate you all. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. You know, this guy's going to concede any second now. <laughs> so I want to wrap this bad boy up. This video is almost two hours long. Let's shoot him in the face for two. Maybe that'll speed this up. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, shop, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, can you, kind you repost stuff on, others? can you repost stuff on YouTube? Oh, well, yeah. Well, I'm recording this. I'm not streaming it. But yeah, I, those drafts we did last night, I plan on posting those to YouTube. Speaking of, go check those out. There's a link down below. There's no link. There's no link. But pretend there is. Find my video, and uh, we'll see you on yeah, next. Yeah, so you can watch it. Oh, wait. No, you can't watch this one on Twitch. No, this one will never be on Twitch. <laughs> but hey, check out twitch.tv slash obtain 24 7 hit that follow uh and uh yeah see you all guys later have a wonderful rest of your day peace